Big it up YouTube, it's your boy Kurt S7 Here for the review of Italy versus England England have gone down 2-1 to the Italians In a game that was, um... Yeah, it was a good quality game, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie It was a bit slow in that second half, you know But you can tell that the uh, conditions were playing a big toll on the players But other than that, lads, it was, um... It was a great, great game. It was uh, entertaining. It wasn't, uh, to be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot more slow paced than that. But uh, anyways, let's get to the uh, the game review. But uh, started off, mate, I saw the team sheet. Roy Hodgson came out and I thought, yeah, this is good. This is good. Sterling up front with, uh, sorry, um, Sturridge up front. Sterling behind him. Rooney out on the left and Wilbeck on the right. Then you've got Henderson, Gerrard in the middle. Leighton Baines on the left back. Glenn Johnson right back. And then... Uh, Jagielka and uh, Cahill at centre back there, and uh, obviously Joe Hart and goal. The only thing I could say about that starting eleven, what I would have changed, I would have kept the same starting eleven. I think it's fantastic. I think what Roy Hodgson's done, perfect. Except that I would have played Sterling on the left and Rooney behind uh, Sturridge. It just made sense. Sterling in that second half, guys, he made an impact from the wing. Even from Liverpool. He does play number 10 for Liverpool, but that's counter-attacking really quick. England are not going to move the ball like that whatsoever, and it really struggled. The second In that second half, when Rooney went in central and Sterling went out wide, they both came into the game, and that's when they really started to cause trouble to uh, Italy. But anyways, um, mate, very even game. So many chances at the start. I thought England were playing well. Italy were playing really well. I have to give credit to Italy, mate. Um, they were, mate, Pirlo, what a player, what a player Pirlo is, he is just world class, mate, he's a legend, he is a legend, and England, mate, they just gave him too much room, way too much room, him and De Rossi, but, um, anyways, first half was happening, um, they gave, um, Rooney was wasted out on the left, he really was, he was really hung out to dry, he's not a left, uh, midfielder, you know, if, if you're going to play Rooney out on the wide, uh, you're going to have to, you may as well not play him at all, you know, you may as well just get, you know, a, a, like a Lalana player on the left, you know, but uh, anyway, saying that, uh, I think they had a they had a corner, Italy, and uh, Pirlo, mate, one of the best dummies you'll see, Sturridge went to him, he just stepped over the ball, came out to Marquisio, outside the box, mate, went through about three or four players, found the bottom corner, Italy up 1-0, and I'm thinking to myself, Right, right, I honestly can't see England getting back into this. Italy just going to pass the ball, pass, 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 and it's going to be all over Red Rover. But, mate, what boy was I wrong? Mate, about a minute later, about two minutes later, uh, mate, the ball, uh, I think Sterling had the ball, gave it to Rooney out wide. Rooney, who I was saying at the time was useless on the left, mate, got the ball, what, uh, mate, an audacious cross, a left foot cross to the back post, and wouldn't you believe it, Daniel Sturridge was there to tuck it home, mate. Two goals in two minutes, mate. Oh, mate. Nice goal. Lovely goal. Great cross from Rooney. Left foot, opposite foot. Mate, perfect from Sturridge. And uh, great finish too. Sorry, I'm going out of focus there. My camera's playing up lately. Don't know why. Anyways, yeah. So going into half time, lads. 1-1. One, one, thinking, right. England, you know, recompose yourself. Come out the second half. We could do this. So uh, what happens? Yeah, um... Italy come out, all guns blazing, and yeah, Balotelli scores. Hmm, yeah. Now, it wasn't that quite simple, but um, I forgot the bloke's name from uh, Italy. Number six, he got the ball, and he crossed it in very similar to Rooney's with his left foot, but uh, found Balotelli at the back post, and what a finish there. Uh, not too much you can complain about that goal. Yeah, you know, Joe Hart really shouldn't be beaten at his near post. But, uh, mate, wonderful cross and wonderful finish from Balotelli, who uh, he caused a lot of havoc for England all night. But, uh, mate, so 2-1, you're thinking, you know, all right, England, you know, let's do this, you know. So uh, a great decision from uh, Roy Hodgson. He bring off uh, Wilbeck. You know, even though I love Danny Wilbeck, uh, this was a good change because Barkley came on, which when Rooney moved into the middle, Sterling out wide, Barkley onto the other wing, which was pretty good. You didn't have to really take a Wilbeck off for that. But uh, I did notice that once Wilbeck did go off, mate, the energy just sucked out of uh, England, mate. The, the running down. The one thing I love about Danny Wilbeck is off-ball movement, mate. He chases down. He gives you supplies for runs. He's really good like that. I don't think Sterling gives you that. 
But uh, in saying that, England were woeful in that second half. How many wasted crosses between Rooney, that corner. What were you doing, lad? Sterling over the crossbar. How many times? Glenn Johnson. You know, how many times did uh, bloody uh, Stephen Gerrard give away the ball? Wilshere gave away the ball too many times. We were, we were just useless, England. Just couldn't do nothing whatsoever. You know, but credit goes to uh, Italy. They they more than deservedly to uh, win this game 2-1. And uh, Uruguay also lost uh, 3-1 against uh, Costa Rica. That was a great game too. So, mate, Uruguay, England next. That's going to be one hell of a game. Luis Suarez is back for Uruguay as well. So, uh, mate, that is going to be one great game. Uh, make sure you come back here to see the review of that game. But uh, for me, man of the match, probably either Marquisio or Pirlo. For this game, thought they were fantastic, and um, yeah, that's about it for the review. I think I've covered pretty much every. every oh yeah, right at the end, peel though, mate, with that free kick and he hit the crossbar. Tell you what, imagine if that had a win in, mate. He is well, he is some player, peel though. But uh, anyways, lads, that's it for this review. Make sure you stick around for more reviews coming your way at the World Cup. Please like the video, subscribe, get your comments in below. What do you think of the uh, game itself? And better yet, who was your man of the match? I said Pilo or Marquisio. Thought they were fantastic. But uh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm always tweeting throughout this uh, World Cup. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.